Approximately 135 miles off the Louisiana coast, ENSCO DS-5, a new ultra-deep water drill ship, is nearing completion of drilling a well. Working in over 8,100 feet of water, the current well depth is approaching 27,500 feet. The distance from the ship down to the drill bit is almost six miles. This 24-7, 365 Endeavor utilizes the latest drilling technologies and automation and is operated by a professional, well-trained crew with safety being the top priority in every job and activity. Everyone working on board ENSCO DS-5 starts their shift the same. They take a helicopter to work. The crew's work schedule is 12 hours on, 12 hours off, work 21 days straight, then they're off for 21 days. They work only half a year, but earn a full year's pay. Each 12-hour shift begins with a tower meeting. This keeps everyone informed about the day's work activities, required safety procedures, equipment maintenance, and other information like the weather forecast. An offshore drilling rig is like a small village in the ocean. It requires people with varied skills and expertise to come together as a team. All are vital to the success of the mission. Here is a typical makeup of ship personnel. The master has overall authority for the ship and leads the marine crew who handle the daily operations, from the ship's safety, navigation, and dynamic positioning, to operating cranes and transferring supplies from support boats. The OIM, or Offshore Installation Manager, is the person in charge of all drilling operations. The drilling crew is responsible for every phase of the drilling process. They work with the customer to drill the well to the required depth following specific procedures to ensure proper well control. Safety is the responsibility of everyone on board, but the safety training coordinator and the medic keep it at the top of everyone's mind. There is even a small hospital in case someone needs medical treatment. Maintenance makes up the largest part of the crew. With all the sophisticated equipment and electrical and mechanical systems, and with 24-7 operations, they keep everything running. The catering crew has kitchen duties. They keep the living quarters clean and do the laundry for everyone on the ship. Life on the rig can be just as good as being at home. After a 12-hour shift, crew can satisfy their healthy appetites and even hit the gym to help stay in shape. There is a lot of diversity among the personnel, not just male and female, but many nationalities, all ages, people just learning and beginning their careers alongside experienced veterans. Spending so much time together, a strong sense of camaraderie builds. Rig crews feel they have one family at home and another family on the rig. With a maximum capacity of 200 persons on board, Managing the transportation and the scheduling of personnel and supplies is crucial for smooth operations. Everything about ENSCO DS-5 and the drilling operation is huge, from the sheer scale and size of the equipment to the incredible amount of energy and power required to make it work. The ship is 750 feet long, that's two and a half football fields in length, and 138 feet wide. To mobilize the ship and to maintain position above the drill site, ENSCO DS-5 uses six 7,000 horsepower thrusters, three located at the front and three in the back. Using a dynamic positioning system guided by a satellite GPS system, these powerful thrusters run continuously, adjusting for waves, the tide, and wind conditions to maintain position, keeping the ship within a 50-foot radius directly above the well. The derrick is 200 feet tall, and can lift up to two million pounds of riser, pipe, and equipment needed to drill wells. For safety and efficiency, most of the pipe handling and drilling functions are automated and controlled by the driller seated just feet away in the driller's cabin. A fully automated racking system stores up to 40,000 feet of drill pipe and moves it into position on the drill floor, where floor hands position the equipment and make up pipe connections. Directly below the drill floor is the moon pool, this open hole through the hull of the ship provides access to the water for the drill pipe and equipment. Near the end of the ship is the remote operated vehicle station. 
This robot-like ROV is launched almost daily to conduct subsea inspections of the riser and blowout preventer stack. Yeah, it was, it was up yesterday pretty good. All systems on the ship, including those for drilling operations and for propulsion, run off electricity and hydraulics, and that takes a huge amount of power generation. Below deck are six 10,700 horsepower diesel engines, each coupled to 7,000 kilowatt generators. These could provide enough energy to power over 33,000 homes. ENSCO DS5 uses an average of 8,500 gallons of diesel fuel a day. When it's time to refuel, it costs about $5 million to fill the 1.5 million gallon tanks. To move pipe and other equipment on board, ENSCO DS5 has cranes, big and small, all over the ship. It's not unusual to see a support boat arriving, offloading supplies and materials. It takes these work boats about 24 hours to reach the drill ship at this location, far out in the deep water of the Gulf of Mexico. Energy is a global industry. ENSCO owns the world's second largest offshore drilling rig fleet with 74 rigs, over 9,000 employees, and operations on six continents. In an independent industry survey, customers rated ENSCO the number one offshore driller in total satisfaction for a fourth year in a row. ENSCO accomplishes this by instilling a culture of safety and operational excellence in their workforce, and by investing billions of dollars to build state-of-the-art drill ships. ENSCO's investments are creating thousands of new jobs and support energy independence in the U.S.